a field of dreams in the Ninth Ward in New Orleans. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello and welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Friday, March the 26th. I'm Ben Lack and we're here with Brian Bordanen, Athletic Director of Carver High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. Hey Brian, how's it going? I'm doing well by yourself. I'm doing great. Talk to us about what this project is going on in the ninth quarter about the stadium. Uh, right now, what we're trying to do is take this seven and a half acre plot of land and uh, build a $1.85 million state-of-the-art community space. So the idea is to have a spot that the entire community can use. And that'll include a public running track, a football field, stadium seating and lighting. And it'll be obviously, as you can see, a pretty secure facility for everybody to use. And we're hoping that this capital investment in this neighborhood, which is so devastated um, by the storm, will really be a catalyst for redevelopment here and then also be uh, instrumental in being a part for the revitalization of youth sports here in the city. So it's not just for Carver High School, it's really going to be for the entire community, is that correct? It'll be the first public field to track in the entire city of New Orleans, which is really awesome and why we're really excited to be working on the Well, And talk to us real briefly about the types of organizations that have gotten involved with the project. Uh, we work pretty closely with the New Orleans Saints, the National Football League. Uh, we work very closely with Kiwanis, Rotary Clubs, uh, Marshall Falk and Drew Brees have been big supporters and obviously rooted here uh, in, in New Orleans. And uh, and actually we've uh, managed to really uh, galvanize the community. We've, we've raised almost $150,000 in $100 increments uh, from people who can actually become a, a part uh, of this project. So what we do is we offer out uh, bricks, uh, like which we're selling for $100, and they'll be engraved with um, the person or in memory of someone's name. And uh, it'll actually surround the entire field because you know we like to pride ourselves on being such a community-driven project, and it's really a great opportunity for us to say to people that your hundred dollars, when it adds up, you know, can be a part of this uh, what we like to call a walkway of hope. And uh, you know, everyone can really be part of something a lot bigger than themselves. That's cool. Yeah. Well, you were telling me before we came on camera that you're actually involved in the building of the stadium, and so I'm interested in to know what types of plans you guys have for making sure that the stadium is observant of keeping you know the energy consumption down. And talk, talk to us real briefly about you know, those building plans. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the really cool things that we're using um, on this facility uh, with our lighting system is actually we're using carbon neutral lighting, which is uh, from the material that they actually make the lights out of. And they've set up the lighting structure in such a way that the uh, energy consumption is actually down, I think, like 30 or 40% of what they normally are. And there's zero runoff into the community. A lot of people sometimes, when you put up these great community spaces, people sometimes forget that there are houses nearby. So what's cool about our lighting structure is that there will be, it'll look like daylight on the field, and then off the field it'll be uh, you know, pretty much dark in the community. Also, we're working with uh, Nike um, on their uh, Nike grind, which is actually, um, when you see on the turf fields on TV, when they cut, you see that black stuff pick up. A lot of times that's a uh, tires, and you have to pay premium for that product. Uh, what we're doing actually is um, our info system will actually be made out of old, old shoes. So we, uh, they have a way basically to take uh, people's old tennis shoes and grind up that material, and we can use that for the infill, and then also for the top three inch layer of the track, um, it will also be made of that same material. So it's really cool that you know your old tennis shoes when you, you when you make a donation, um, you know to Nike Grime will actually have a part in uh, rebuilding this community, which is really 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 cool. So is the are you guys getting close to doing some type of a groundbreaking? to get the project off the ground. We are. Um, the school, which is kind of in the background here, uh, is going to be completely demolished um, in the next couple of months. And right now the school is in design. So we want to make sure that we didn't just put down the space before there was kind of a, a plan for the entire school. So that's happening in the next few weeks. And then we'll be able to apply for permitting. And then once we get our permits, we can bring all our construction teams and all the people who have supported us down here, which is uh, something that we're really looking forward to. Of course, uh, we're still fundraising. We're not quite at our goal yet. You know, another half a million dollars would be a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, sure. But it's uh, it's really amazing to watch. You know, we've raised about 1.25, 1.3 million uh, in the last year, about two, three months. So it's been a it's been a great process to kind of bring this community together, and, and we're looking forward to kind of taking that next step, getting a shovel in the ground, and obviously closing out our, our fundraising gap. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Tell our audience where they can go to to donate for. Uh, Sure. Well, here's the pitch. I guess we'll take my glasses off. You can go to the ninth ward field dreams.com, which is the number nine th ward field the dreams.com, and you can purchase your bricks there and also find out a lot more information about our project, see some of the videos that we've made, and, and things like that. So, check out the website um, and uh, please get involved. It's a really awesome project. So, well, Brian, thanks very much for the Thank time. You. I wish you the best of luck, and uh, we look forward to coming back to see the stadium when it's finally.
on. And when we turn the lights on, we'll make sure, we'll make sure we get you guys out here. And, uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Well, this is Ben Lack with the Daily Energy Report. We hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll be in Dallas, Texas next week, so definitely tune in next week to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great weekend.